Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and on a Saturday at the beginning of the month, <gasps> beginning of December, and that must mean it's cards in the mail to me time. So I've got loads. I've literally, I can't even close my box this month. It's ex it's exploding open. But I wanted to start off by sharing some things that I received from Stampin' Up. Um, so, and I haven't actually shared this on video. So we had our recognition um, a few weeks ago where we had our annual conference, although it was done online this time round. Um, that was a few weeks ago and I am thrilled, delighted, humbled and all of those to say that I um, ranked at number one in the UK for sales, number one in the UK for team building and number one in the UK for leadership as well as number one overall. So hugely humbled and touched by that but I also ranked globally at number 22 out of 60,000 demonstrators and I was sat at home with my children um, because we were obviously doing it online and they were exploding with their cheers as the recognition countdowns were coming and it was just it was wonderful to share it with them actually and obviously normally we're at an in-person event and you know we're all together but actually to have them there counting down with me was just wonderful it really was but in the post I received oh no not those ones those are last year um, these five here um, oh no hang on let me get the right ones so that's sales team building leadership um, country rank and global rank and this is um, my way of displaying my achievements and Stampin' Up! is very very good at recognising um, promotions and uh, uh, you know achievements and things like that so these are my sales milestones and I um, hit my 1.1 million in August so I have that one these are where I've earned incentive trips actually I haven't got one for Maui Elite and then these are from my first year as a demonstrator so uh, 2014 15 then they started making it global so 2016 17 18 19 and 2020 and then down here just some one-off pins so they don't give you a title pin anymore so I've collected those up um, 25 years which was the year I joined and 30 years and then some other oh no that's 30 years I think that was 25 as well but what's really funny and it does tickle me so this is the way that you get a milestone pin now it does look a little bit like the London Underground sign but actually I picked up my first one my 100,000 in sales under the old style so I have just one like that with a little ruby pin a uh, ruby mark on it but yeah so I thought I'd share that because I did receive those in the post uh, along with a beautiful blanket which hasn't moved off my bed and a gorgeous pink bag and then this arrived from my country manager just yesterday so I'm filming this Thursday and you're seeing it Saturday but I got this on Wednesday and it was just lovely so there's a lovely little note in there for me. Um, and then, yeah, so all sorts of other things have come in the post. So this is from the gorgeous Elizabeth in my team. And she sent me this and it's just beautiful. I'm a real coffee lover. I have an espresso. I have a bit of a posh machine, actually, because I could go from wanting a latte to a cappuccino or to whatever I fancy. And she sent me this. It's gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. And then, like I say, my exploding box of stuff. So I have this. So this is from one of the ladies in my team over in France and she cashed in some recognition vouchers. Um, so I thought I'd show you how she put them together. And they, you know, the girls, they do something different each time. So I wanted to show you that, but just beautiful. Need to not lose those vouchers. We, it's the ultimate recycling. So I send the vouchers out and then when they want to redeem them, they post them back to me. And then I have these. These are from my gorgeous Tina in my team who is over in Germany and it's been a tradition now I think for five years I love Lebkuchen which is spiced ginger biscuits from Germany and they're very very soft they're not like they're not a ginger snap or anything like that they're absolutely lovely and she um collects the the best Lebkuchen and ginger biscuits that she can and she posts them to me every year and she actually got me she, she got me a gingerbread house making kit this year and I can't wait but inside here she um so the box is downstairs yes the children have broken into it already but she made me a box with a beautiful Yankee candle in it which is gorgeous so dark berries so very autumnal so that was in there and then she also knows I'm a bit of a coffee lover because in here there are I mean talk about a perfect fit on a box three coffee syrups so vanilla caramel and I'm guessing hazelnut is hazelnut but they're lovely now I do know that Tina has tutorials for these on her certainly on her blog I'm not sure if she has them on her channel so you're looking for Tina's creative and that's Tina and then creative is K R 
E-A-T-I-V. So look for her. So they came from her. It's lovely. And then I've got loads of cards here. Seriously, this box is exploding this month. It really is. And look at this. I love a rainbow. I love a rainbow. So that's from a dis different Elizabeth. Um, this one is Kayla. Here have we got here? We've got, oh, it stuck itself down. There we go. Karen, she was cashing in vouchers as well, I think. Sue, thank you very much, Sue. I know you're watching. And then this one from Shirley. So that was um, following on from a, a team event. They're just, aren't they lovely? Look at that. We did a curvy team event um, featuring the curvy bundle that's coming out. Um, well, it's out now. It's going to make its way into the catalogue. The Christmas stuff, you've only got until the 8th to actually cash those in these look at these how incredible and oh i've lost the card that goes with them these are from sue as well and she's made me these beautiful gift tags um so that i can add them to parcels i think she's heard me over the many years saying i always run out of tags how cute are they absolutely gorgeous so they're definitely going on some very special parcels this month or this christmas i should say just so cute How, look at the look at the red noses on the deer oh, they just i love them i love them so many for me to choose and use and i'm so going to look at the detail we've got a glitter detail what can you see that Oh, it's trying to focus on the background, not me. There we go. So a little glitter on the snow. Just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to do this so that I don't scrumple them as I lift them up. <laughs> oh, look. My anti-slip mat slipped. <laughs> There's some irony in that, isn't there? Right, let's keep going. Um, this one came from Lorraine, who sent it to me all the way from America. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? And then she's put a lovely letter in there for me as well. But look at all of this. All of that. Just amazing. Thank you so much. And then more cards. So, oh, this was cashing in vouchers. Um, I'm trying to skip round the... Oh, I'm going to have to do it this way. So that one was cashing in vouchers. Right, let me try and do this so it's correct so i've got a beautiful card here look at that that's just gorgeous that's from my lovely jenny and she's she's picked up the wink of stella idea here and then in here <laughs> my favorite white chocolate in the world ever green and blacks white chocolate it's divine jenny thank you so much but i love how it all matches isn't that fabulous I'm just going to just gently set that to one side. Now, this was the most remarkable surprise ever. And I received this in the post with a lovely letter written on Tinkerbell paper from Audrey, who has shopped with me for such a long time and this arrived in the post and the letter and I thought oh I wonder what's in here and I won't tell you the details of the letter because that's to me but she had a special little gift that she'd picked up at Disneyland I think Paris and she wanted to send them to me and I I'm hoping I can get this to focus they are earrings with little Mickey Mouse silhouettes with Swarovski crystal in them amazing i was just like oh my goodness for me me really for me and it was just the sweetest thing and i was totally blown away and like i say she wrote it on tinkerbell she wrote her letter on tinkerbell paper which is just the cutest thing and then used a mickey hand to stick it down i just i i was just like me just it's me i'm just me so audrey thank you so much Right, I have got one of our little mini paper pumpkin boxes in here. And I have opened this and had a little peep. 
but I've got some yummy Lindor chocolates tucked in there, all beautifully wrapped with tissue. And then again, matching card and a little note in there from the lovely Carolyn in my team. Caroline. Yes, Caroline. I was trying to go in with your surname, Caroline. You know who you are. But I just love this. I love matching things. Just... <sighs> right more cards here if anybody can spot who that is you've got five seconds or until i've got all the cards out to tell me who you think sent me that card <laughs> let me get these laid out or oh, i'm going to bring those out separately any guesses i'll tell you who this one is from this one's from cat i love this i love that stamp set that was a million dollar seller stamp set this is from my country manager as well so i've got a couple there from her this one is from Trisha, super sweet, lovely lady on my team. And this is from Helsey, who she recently promoted to Silver Elite and her promotion caused me to promote to the highest title in Stampin' Up! Platinum Elite. So, um, yeah, so she popped this in the post and then, I go, oh, I should have brought it up. Oh, it's a lovely, it's a, a little domed flower and it's a rainbow rose and it's got little lights around it and it's under a beautiful black dome. It's actually in my kitchen. It's living there. It's, that's where I opened it and the boys won't let me move it. And I love it where it is. Any guesses who made me this one? This is from Jez, Nigeza. It's, it's such her style. I love it. And she knows I love a rainbow. Um, but even before I had actually opened it to see who it was from, I was like, oh, that's from Jez. <laughs> right. So let me pop those out to one side. And I have another. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. So this is from Valerie. Just beautiful. And then a little shadow frame. So Valerie is over in my team in France and she's put me some little French chocolates in there. I want to know what that says. Um, I'm going to have to message her and ask it because I don't know what that means. Oh, but she writes in English, which is very sweet. So she's written that in English, but loves the rainbow. How gorgeous is that? And how painstaking. Um, let me see if it's going to focus on here she's lifted up every single one of those hearts with a mini dimensional now that's dedication and love so thank you <laughs> for spending the time doing all of those they're gorgeous right so i had these in advance of on stage they came from my team leader so she got a little notebook a pen a flag with um, her team logo on it and then in here, I'll just scooch those out of the way, some pink fluffy socks and a rainbow mug with my name on. Now, I actually happened to be ill when on stage was happening, our convention. So I was very pleased I didn't get to miss out. I just watched it all from my sofa. I was fine on the Thursday night, which was recognition night. And then I just went downhill further and further from there. So I literally was in my pyjamas on the sofa, under blankets with children on the Saturday, very happily and kindly feeding one another and feeding me. So that's kind of really the first time I've properly looked at that. So thank you, Michelle. And then I had these in the post from Kay, who is in, oh, here they are. Here we go. These are the ones from Kay. So Kay is in our team, in my team, and she makes beautiful, beautiful things. And there's a little bit of a long-standing joke with Edinburgh gin, particularly the rhubarb and ginger flavour. So she put that in some tissue in there with a gorgeous card. I don't know if this notebook came from, oh, yes, this one came from her too. And there were all sorts of bits and bobs in there. And it was just lovely. Oh, these came from um, Karen. I'm just looking to see all the other bits. But these, this came from Karen. It was all beautifully tied up with vouchers in it. And her card is in there. But that was really clever to fold it that way. Um, and so, yeah, in here I have a pen. That's a little B. Little B. Too cute. And a lovely nail file that's just popped out. There it is. Very sweet. So I shall be drinking gin and drinking cho and eating chocolate later. And then my last couple here. So this one is from my gorgeous Trina. And a tea bag in there. So Katrina is on our team too. So yeah, quite quite overwhelmed really with all of the goodies and treats and things that I've had this month. I just, 
the power of a handmade card i kind of feel like i say this every time on video um but the power of a handmade card you have no idea and like i say quite a few of these turned up when i wasn't very well um perfect timing i hadn't particularly announced publicly my team knew that i'd been ill um, and I was ill actually for about three weeks. No, it wasn't coronavirus. It just simply was a really bad cold that my husband brought home with him from work. Gave it to me. None of the children got it. And it just lingered, I think, mostly because I was reluctant to go because it did turn into a chest infection. And I just didn't want to go to the doctors um, because I didn't want to expose myself in a doctor's surgery. And yeah, so it just lingered around. But yeah, my, I was worst of all on on stage weekend and so perfectly timed i had some lovely treats in the post but if you've got a handmade card that you want to put in that you've made and you want to put it in the post to somebody do it just just do it just pop it in the post they will love it anyway thank you ever so much for watching hope to see you soon bye